Hey guys, Kevred here. Welcome to episode 8 of my Theory 3 analysis series, where I'll teach you all about advanced positioning and rotation. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the new Northern Gaming lineup in RLCS Season 2. So they replaced Greasy with Mystic, and they look really good. Mystic understands almost perfectly the Northern Gaming high offensive pressure playstyle, and they are flying at the moment. So again, we'll take a look at their contested 50-50 rotation I covered in episode 3, and try to explain their other movements as well, so that we can take away some new insights and apply that to our own teams. Okay, so they're going to go for the double boost grab. And that means my short can step, Mystic can sweep him behind. So they have two players uh, on one attacker there, which is totally fine. Makes it very easy and predictable. Now here there's a little bit of hesitation on Maestro's part, which means Ramco ends up going a little late. And Mystic loses the opportunity to do a turn clear there, uh, instead trying to clear it in the corner. Now, I think this could have been bad from a defensive standpoint. Mystic here, he really should be getting this off the bounce. It's actually, he has plenty of time. I think he's read it well. I'm not sure why he's let it bounce. But if, if he hits this off the bounce, he can clear it right into the opponent's half. Uh, instead, he's opting not to. He's waiting for Skyline to put in the corner. And in essence, he is clearing it right to a spot right around the corner to a spot where Blue can get their own clear and try to get some offensive pressure of their own. Now they get lucky because Blue misses it. Remco's able to step. And they have this really nice uh, support on the 50-50. And um, they're really aggressive. So let's try to pinpoint how aggressive they are here. So as soon as that mistake happens, Remco's rushing up you're gonna see maestro rushing up mystic rushing up getting in the support position and once remco has the ball around here you'll see mystic is going to be the number two player so he's gonna get into a number two position maestro in number three position there we go there it is and right here you're gonna see mystic go up for this maestro is gonna be very close it's gonna be an uncontested aerial so he's going to look for the pass. Obviously, Remco has uh, been demolished, so he's going to be in the back. Okay, nice pressure there. And we're going to try to see uh, if they can keep some pressure here in the corner. Because this is, this is what they're best at. Alright, so Remco stepping up here. Uh, Mystic looking for the turn and clear. Uh, but Remco with more momentum. So Mystic just stays on sideline support. And he's clearing this back in. And this is movement you'll see a lot from Remco. So I'm going to slow this down. Here we go. So as this ball comes across and comes inside, it's very obvious that it's coming this way. Now, if you're blue and you're constantly stuck in this, this sort of rotation, you really want to be letting it come this way and clearing it across. Right? Because the other players are so far up, maybe some communication from your own team can prevent this sort of thing. But anyway... Uh, it looks very predictable that it's going to be cleared back this way. And so Mystic, instead of rushing in here, he opts to just come in here, do some sideline support. Now he's going to get a turn. He's going to put it back into the corner. This is how you get a, some pressure. And then you see this attempt at a cut. So Remco will cut here. Maestro will go over there. And what this does is if there's a 50-50... Then Remco can rush in and try to win a ball there, and Maestro can support that as well. Um, so once Remco realizes it's more Maestro's ball, he just backs off. And so they have a really good understanding, really good awareness of each other. Now Remco's in a position to support. He should be looking for a 50 50. A little late, and so Mystic is just going to accept this pressure. They've given up offense pressure there. Does it does really well to initiate corner defense and I talk about this in their first episode if you defend the corners really well so he's, sl he's delaying the play here which is really good delays the play even more since the balls never come around this way they never get stuck in defensive rotation if you defend these corners successfully you can get the ball back out blue can never get an offensive rotation but here he gets another clear now they're on the counterattack again. See Maestro taking the ball. Mystic trying to create a 50-50 into the corner, which he does really well. And here we see Maestro go all the way back for boost. So let's try to explain why they do this. 
Because you know, it's something you won't see that often. But they have a very good understanding of what to do in those situations. So Mystic has gone for this hit here. Maestro presumably is low on boost. So Remco is getting in a sideline support position. Right, we're expecting the ball to come along the sideline. So he's positioning himself on the sideline. Maestro says he's out of boost. He's going to go all the way back. And so we should see this movement here, which would be the most efficient rather than doing a basic rotation and having Mystic in behind. Right. It's not really set up for that. Uh, instead, it looks maybe like Mystic's low on boost himself. So they give up a big clear. And Maestro is actually able to cover some huge ground. And here we see that rotation uh, in play or attempted. And Remco is really good about this. So as this ball comes out, Remco is going to get that mid boost right there. And since this ball floats, Remco is going to cut this time. This is their classic uh, twos rotation. So you have one player going, and then this third player just being the third the whole time. So Remco is going to go up. He's going to elect not to go for that because blue is going to win it. And because of that, they're late trying to keep their offensive pressure. And so maybe it's not ideal for Remco to go for this. But Mystic also is really far back and cannot support this next hit adequately. Remco trying to do that job. Now that's that's fine. That's a nice delay there. And Orange get a nice clear out. This I want to talk about because this is something we already saw Mystic do in their opening minute. When he was defending Skyline shot. And this is incredible technique. It's something I something I've been trying to work on as well. So watch Mi Maestro here. He's just gonna position himself on the wall, and he's going to get a power clear. So he can slow this down. He's catching that off the bounce, and he generates a huge clear. This also gets you out of defensive rotation. I like that a lot. Just a new skill that maybe you guys should consider working on. Okay. Anywho, they get in some sort of trouble here after this. So it's defended well. And they're not able to get the 50-50. Mystic with the poor turn and clear attempt. I think he's probably the worst on the team in terms of turn and clears. Uh, as, from what I've seen from this replay. Uh, because he didn't elect to go for the earlier one. And here he's clearing it sideways. He's not getting fully behind the ball. The optimal turn and clear would have been like this. You're getting behind it and you're clearing it back this way. Uh, or alternatively, you can just clear it this way. But instead he's hit it this sideways on. It's gonna be a weak clear. Uh, that's exactly what happens. And blue, you get a goal from it. So we're not really seeing Northern Gaming click yet. They have some offense pressure, but it's going to get a little bit better uh, as we get later into the game. So here we see how they get stuck in defensive rotation for a little bit. We're going to see how they get out. Actually, Blue makes a huge mistake there. I'm not sure what they're doing, but let's slow this down. So at this point, we're going to see the principal play defend the corners. Right? Don't want to get stuck in defensive rotation, so you'll see Meister is going to drop out. He's going to initiate a turn and clear. Initiate corner defense, and then Mystic and Remco are going to accept this shot right here. And it's an easy shot, it's very saveable. They put in the corner. Now, since Mystic and Remco are stuck in the goal, Maestro is going to try to put some pressure. He's going to try to rush the opponents. And so, what he does here is he makes, I believe, Skyline feel like he has to rush this. And so, they have two players in the corner. He actually hits it into the corner. And there are other players all the way back here, so this is kind of strange. I'm not sure what he's trying to accomplish there, because uh, you're definitely not going to get any offensive pressure. That's uh, from a blue standpoint. So Remco's able to get a very easy clear out. k up overextending there. And so Orange now have an out, but that's all because Maestro came across and rushed them. Okay. So it looks like Blue are eventually able to get a clear. And Remco very quick to get this. And they almost get the redirect opportunity. So let's see what Remco does right here. 
Nasty's movement. So he's expecting this hit to go into the wall. And so he's going to start moving across. Mystic's going to stay in behind in third position. We have uh, Remco in a second support position. So he's given up the clear. Remco elects to go for that. Maestro, who's already upfield. And we talked about redirects a lot in the last episode. When do you go for redirects? Well, it's when your teammates have a uncontested clear. So right here, there's no one contesting these hits here. So either Ramco or Mystic will go. And Maestro can position himself upfield for a pass. And that's exactly what happens. So good risk assessment. Looks like Blue never had an opportunity to get a, a proper challenge there. And so they're able to drop out. Mystic doing well just to cushion that into the corner. We see some basic rotation there. So Remco trying to initiate corner defense. I'll slow this down here. Oh, nice boost grab from Remco there, all the way upfield. So we're seeing Maestro get in behind. Right in a basic rotation setup, you have one right there, you have two there, and then you might have Remco coming in behind and being the third. So once one steps out, two can step across, three can step into that position. Now that's not what Northern Gaming does because it's not really efficient from getting out of pressure sort of uh, mentality. So what we're going to see is Remco is going to go into the corner. We're going to see Maestro coming behind. So they have that keeper once Mystic steps out. But Remco is going to try to support and uh, try to get this out of the corner so they can get out of defensive rotation. So that's what you see here. Remco going for this. He kind of gets a touch there and Maestro is able to step out. Now, since Remco has all this momentum here, he's going to be number two. So he gets very close. Mystic is understanding of that and he's just going to stay. Looks like he's looking for pads. And so here we see a nice center from Remco. And this is how they get offensive pressure. Beautiful play. Okay. Let's speed this up. Counterattack right here. 2v1 situation. Maestro flicks it up. Now, that was really impressive because we see as soon as the ball goes up, Remco cannot win that. It looks like he's going to win that. So he's going to, as soon as it looks like it's coming this way, Remco moves this way. And this is how he gets his next hit. He keeps in the corner. This is how you keep offensive pressure. And then you see Maestro, who's aware of this. He needs to get this 50-50. And this is that contested 50-50 rotation. It's a twos rotation. It's... You know, really next in line would be, you know, Meister coming there, Mystic being the second player, Meister being the third. Instead, we see uh, Meister being the closest player, so he's going to be more useful if he turns here and he attacks. And so he's going to go for the next hit, possibly a 50-50, and he wins it outright. Now they're in off offensive mode. Remco doing the same job. He's thinking about going into the corner. Meister's thinking about coming over here. Right, so it looks like Maestro's rotating out. Mystic is now that second player. That's basic rotation at play. And this is really good rotation. So when I say basic rotation, let's cover that again for any of you new viewers. There's that two's rotation there. So Remco is going. Mystic's going to be number two. Maestro is going to come around to be number three. You have your number one. This is a basic rotation. So Mystic goes. Maestro's right behind. And since Remco went all the way back, it looks like he misses a boost. Um, Maestro does really well just to keep it up there. So if you're isolated, you want to keep this in the opponent's corner, allow your teammates to get boost. So he slows it down. I'm Presumably Remco says he's, he's gone back. And Mystic, who's not in a position to support any 50-50, he is going to back out as well. So Maestro does a really good job just delaying, keeping the ball in there. And Remco, what a turn and clear. Let's go into Remco cam here. Because this is super impressive from the pressure standpoint. So you're going to see him miss the boost and go back for it. He steps up. And this is what they have in their locker. Able to power slide, turn, and flip into the ball. 
completely behind all blue players, so they get even more pressure. So let's go back into our normal cam. So Maestro doing a wide sweep. We saw this with Momentum, or Selfless do this a lot. Well, they'll, when they're rotating out, they get this boost. And in effect, when the other team gets a counterattack along this side, perhaps, you have started them up boost. So that's really good. Always try to rotate and grab that mid boost if possible. So Remco gets that. Mystic is now going to support. Mystic rushing into the corner. And he just keeps the play really slow. I like that. And this should be... That's a really good chance there. So Let's slow this down. So since there's not a lot of pace on the ball, Mystic's going to get really close. You see, instead of coming out here, this is kind of an efficiency Northern Gaming have made for themselves. They'd like to have two players uh, supporting center. So you'll see one little more advanced than usual and then you'll see one right there very close so near post hit so if the ball comes this way you can attack and if the ball comes across three can attack now if the ball does get cleared maestro we've seen has a really good turn and clear so you can always get back and get in this sort of position if he needs to make the next hit so it's never a problem with these guys as this ball is very slow maestro is gonna presumably rush in And he gets an exit. So even more pressure. Now there isn't that much support here. But looks like Blue make a complete meal of that. And they almost get a goal there. Okay, so it's right around here. You see, Rimko was a little slow. He missed this boost. Or he didn't beat the opponent to it. So he had to get this boost. He's rushing up here. And he's going to be late, so he's going to give Blue an opportunity to get this next hit. Mystic not able to get it. Uh, fortunately for them, Blue made a complete meal of it. Mystic really should be trying to pinch there. It keeps in the corner, even more pressure. Maestro in a sideline support position. And he attacks. It looks like Blue pinched that out. So this is something that's really difficult to understand here um, looks like Remco goes all the way back so there's going to be loss of pressure up here Maestro's not odds on to win that so Remco's dropped all the way back he's gonna be in a position back here where he can sweep across the goal if the ball uh, goes that way he's able to get a big clear uh, so that's not accidental that is intentional that he's all the way back there Maestro very quick with a turn and clear let's go into Maestro cam here this is not easy what he just did right here off the turn up very quickly gets down to the opponent's half even more pressure so we see here Remco in a nice position to support that play he's not able to get it Maestro swings around back and here we see just a nice little sweep across from Maestro and then Mystic gets him behind number two position Maestro being number one so let's slow this down see what Remco does here Remco goes in behind and he goes for boost. So here you have classic one, two, three positioning. Now this is fine. This is an efficiency. You're gonna see my Remco, he's not going to come all the way into here to get in the third position as these two players uh, go forward. He's actually just going to go wide and he's gonna step up wide and then if he needs to, he can come this way. And that's totally fine too. It's probably more efficient. So now the ball looks like it's coming that way. Start swinging across. And he's in a nice position to get this next turn clear. Or just this next power clear. Turns a lot of power. And this is actually where they get the goal. You can see they're kind of just uh, filling that one out. Looks like it should be cleared to the right. It doesn't. And they both go for the aerial to get the goal. It's a nice goal for them. Okay, so, so far we've seen Northern Gaming. They have about seven shots, some good offense pressure, but they're really gonna step it up a notch right here. So they're gonna be very dominant in those last minute 20. Double boost again, Mystic gonna get this off the bounce. Another application of that power clear off the wall. And Maestro doing really well just to track this ball. 
And this is a really smart decision from him. So if we look at what happens here as this ball comes across, this is a pure decision making. Uh, lots of experience uh, from Meister here to go for this. So he sees one, two, three players. You see a player going that way. You see a player going that way. You see Skyline going from this aerial. Maestro actually is going to delay and try to get his teammates some time to get back. So instead of clearing it back where it's predictable, he just chips this into the wall so that he can get the next hit. He gets some position for a 50-50. Mystic Remco already cycling back. Whoops. Now, Mystic should be in a position just to cycle across. Pick this up, take it up the wall. And once it looks odds on that Blue is going to win that, Ramco just decides to stay back. He gets the next hit. And now Mystic is supporting off of that. And this movement from Remco is really important. You know, it might look like some ball chasing in the corner, but... It's with the attitude that if you're this far up and you see the ball in the corner, you want to keep it in the corner. This is how you get offensive pressure. If your teammate's going to be late, as Mystic is, so this is mi not Mystic's ball to win, you're going to rush in, try to pinch it, try to get it coming this way, try to get it to go up. Just do whatever you can to slow it down in the corners, uh, and then maybe you can get a boost dive going, get some offensive rotation going. So let's see how this pans out. Alright, now we're in a position where Mystic could be the second player to go for it. Um, Blue getting a nice clear. But Maestro this time, uh, sweeping across. So, maybe that could have been a goal. A bit difficult for Remco. But you see how important that that uh, play in the corner is in getting offensive pressure. Maestro actually in a really nice position here. This is what I want to talk about. So he gets in a position. It looks very odds on. Blue is going to win that, so he just gets in this sort of position as a third man, supporting in the mid. Right? Obviously, we had our second and first. They've been bypassed, so Maestro needs to get this next hit. But completely gets in behind all of them. Now Mystic's up. And it looks like they're going to give up a clear here. So let's talk about why offensive pressure is given up. I think it has a lot to do with uh, Maestro going all the way back. So Mystic not getting the best hit there. I think what would have been the best outcome was just a hit maybe into the backboard or preferably over here. Just to slow the play down. Let Remco get in a position where he can support and get the next hit. Now this drops straight down. Remco's not able to do anything. So Blue get a big clear. That's a loss of pressure. Mystic missing the clear there too. Maestro... <laughs> Getting a nice tackle to the half loop. And now they're stuck in defensive rotation. So let's talk about what Ramco does here. This is something you see in the pro pro level a lot. You see one guy on the ground, one guy on the wall. So let's go to Remco Cam. See what he's thinking. I'm trying to understand what he's thinking. This ball goes on the wall. It looks very obvious where it's going. It's gonna go towards the backboard. So it goes on the wall, jumps off, clears that, and now they're on the counter side. Beautiful play. Go back here. It's much easier to defend these sort of hits when you're on the wall as opposed to being on the ground using all that boost. So now Maestro is going to grab that boost. He's going to support. He rushes in there. That's totally fine. Now he's able to get the next hit. And Mystic is cool. Beautiful play. I love the, the clear from Remco to start, up, start this off. Massive clears. This is something that's a feature in the game we saw maestro with that big clear earlier now maestro rushing into this sort of position so if there's a pass he can get in there but he also has the presence of mind to slow down since this goes straight up mystic getting in a support position right here and as maestro hits this you see mystic already moving towards the net uh, in anticipation for this sort of pass so really nice play they get the goal Okay, so now Northern Gaming have 11 shots to 4. That is extremely dominant. And you're going to see them push on for another goal here. So this time Remco cheating. Forcing it towards Maestro's side. Maestro gets the step up. Does he score immediately? Yes, he does. Right, so this is actually kickoff strategy. This played out really well. So I'm sure Maestro has told Mystic to hit this towards the right. 
Because you're going to see Mystic flip right. And this ball gets taken to the side. Meister's already there. He's being very aggressive. Wins this ball outright. Blue obviously trying to be aggressive to try to get a goal. And Meister's able to capitalize. So another goal. Scoreline not really reflecting the dominance. Because 12 shots is just insane. Now Remco pinching that into the corner. More offensive pressure. I like that. Keeping it up there. And Meister being a little unlucky. Uh, being too far underneath the ball there. Anyway, that's game. And so now we'll go into our closing comments. So besides the fact that Northern Gaming are an incredible team, I think we have a few important takeaways to discuss. So for anyone watching... From an offensive pressure standpoint, we often saw how the closest player would try to make a play in the offensive corner to prevent Blue from getting out. By doing this, it delayed time and allowed teammates to either support or get boost. This is not easy, it requires a lot of communication and experience because you cannot hesitate or double up in a corner play. See here, they have pressure for about 30 seconds. Turning clear is also a big factor in that. See players getting boost, and they're always continually able to support. And the pressure is frankly ridiculous here. As they get so many corner plays there. Um, and it opens themselves up for a chance. And another chance right there. In addition, we also saw some really smart play here. Is how they prevent going into defensive rotation. Um, so once this redirect opportunity comes. And blue get a clear. You'll see here the rotation, Mystic steps across, Maestro in behind, Remco into the corner. And that corner defense is really important. And it lets Orange get out quickly, and now they're on the counterattack. So we saw countless examples of that where they actually have a player go into the corner as opposed to rotating into the back post and having two keepers. So that's something that you guys can also experiment with. And we also see some components of improvisation in the final third. So we'll see a double boost denial by Mystic. He's going to grab that boost. I'm gonna go across, grab the other boost. This creates opportunities for a boost denial. And you also see some improvisation in that he cuts in. This is like that twos rotation where you have one player here, you have that second player, instead of rotating all the way back in behind back here and have Maestro come in front, he does a more efficient play and he cuts across. Now cutting across is very important in keeping the ball in the corners. And he does really well. This is how they get even more offensive pressure. And my final point is, whenever it looks like Blue has a big clear and they get past your offensive pressure, players like Remco have a very good understanding of where the play is going to go, and he anticipates a big clear, so he positions himself all the way back here. And this is by design, this is intentional, this is just from his experience. So we'll go into Remco cam, to just hammer this point home. Sees that Blue's going up for that, so he just drops off. And he's able to get a big clear that creates more pressure and chances for himself. So that's going to be it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys learned a ton. And uh, I'll be back with more 3v3 analysis videos as RLCS Season 2 is going underway. So thanks for watching.